Hey guys, it's your girl Ashley here, and I'm here for my March book haul. Now, I hope you guys have a snack, have a <sighs> cup of tea, cup of coffee, something, because it's going to be a long book haul. My couch right here is filled with books, so just be prepared, it's going to be a long book haul. Um, like Barnes Noble had a big haul, a big sale that you guys saw in my book haul, um, saw in my video. Um, I did a lot of book shopping this month. Next month, not as bad, hopefully, but this month like, I did a lot of damage. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'll try to give some of the synopsis of books, like, kind of quickly, because, again, there's, like, probably 30-something books here. I'm not doing that again this month, next month. So, let's get into it. Um, and I'll tell you where everything is from. This is The Disasters, I think it is, Disasters. Uh, by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. Uh, this is from Walmart. I love the shiny, shiny hollow cover. Um, I got this from, like I said, Walmart. Beautiful end pages. And this is about a girl. I think she can control the weather. Honestly, I got it because my friend Lori, Lori has it. And it has pictures in it and stuff. And she said it was a good book and flew through it. So I picked up that book at Walmart. I guess we'll do stores first. Um, and then at Target, I picked up A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmer. Um, I picked this up because this is dubbed as a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but contemporary, I guess, with fantasy elements mixed into it or something. It says, when a kingdom is cursed, love must bloom in the darkness of, um, in the darkest of places. Um, and I guess this girl has cerebral palsy, I believe it is. Um, so it deals with that, and I've heard some mixed reviews, some people love it, some people don't. It is a chunk of, of a book, I picked it up at Target, so we'll see how I feel about it. But I do love Beauty and the Beast retellings, so I might like that. Um, then I picked up The Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds, so cute, um, this is a book about time travel, uh, I forget his name, what is his name? Uh, Jack meets Kate, they fall in love, and then Kate dies. And he, has, and he can go back in time and has to try to figure out what he can do to save her. Um, and it just, it sounds so cute. And it's not like, a, it's not like your average contemporary. Um, so I think it'll be a really good read. And I did start reading it and it was pretty good. And this might be one of my contemporary reads for the owls. Um, and it's actually being already made into a movie. So I picked up that from Target. Oh, and if you get the Target one, you get the uh, bonus uh, alternate ending, too. Get that. And the last thing I got at Target is The Sun is Also a, is also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I picked this book up, spoiler, for um, The Owls. And you get something with the word star in it. And this is a short contemporary. And I did like her Everything Everything book, so hopefully I can fly through this for, for The Owls. So I just picked this one up. And I believe this is about... Um, Two people, uh, let's see, Natasha, um, her family is 12 hours away from being deported to Jamaica and she falls in love with this good boy and it's like their time in like 24 hours and stuff. Um, and it sounds cute, so I picked up that book at Target. So that's that. Now on to Savers. I got one book at Savers and then it's Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. I kind of a beat up copy, but I just wanted to pick it up just to see if I liked it. Um, this is a world if the villain won, um, and I've heard good things about it, so eventually I'll pick that up. Um, that's Barnes. Um, the three books I got out of a book box this month was For Dark Queens, uh, by Astrid Schultz, Schultz, sorry if I said it wrong. Uh, this is about... Four Dead Queens, um, but this girl, she ends up, um, stealing something and finds, uh, finds out on this, like, recording that these queens were dead and were murdered. I'm not read far into this, I've only read page 21, and this came from Owl Crate. And then we got, you guys saw my beacon unboxing, we got Sherwood by... Megan Spooner, The Lady Becomes a Legend. This is a gender bent retelling of um, Robin Hood, where Maid Marian becomes Robin Hood because Robin Hood is dead. 
and hopefully it's good. I might read this for the owls. I'm not sure. It's kind of a chunker of a book, so we'll see. What's that book? And the last one I got from Lit Joy is Superman. Uh, Dawnbreaker. I just finished this book. Mm -hmm. I have feels on this book. It was not my favorite DC Icons book. Um, I will definitely do a review on it because I have feels on it and I feel like I was so hyped up for it and so excited to get this book and it let me down a lot. So let's just say it let me down. So this came from Litjoy. So I got that from Book Boxes. Alright, um, from, um, what was this? Newberry Comics. I got I'll Be Gone in the Dark, One Woman's, One Woman's obses Obsessive Search for the Golden State Killer by Michael, by Michelle McManor, McManor with an introduction by J Gillian Flynn and afterwards by Patton Os Oswalt. I don't know if I'm a good read about this. Everybody's picking this book up to read it. I'm going to probably do audiobook with it because that's just how I do my stuff. Um, this is how just a regular person uh, did research and found the Golden State Killer. It says, a, mas a masterful true crime account of the Golden State Killer, the, exclu the exclusive serial rapist turned murderer who terrorized California for over a decade. From, Michael, from Michelle McManor, Mac the gifted journalist who died tragically while investigating this case. So she died, and I believe her husband finished this book for her. So I've heard good things about this. So that was, I got Newberry Comics. Um, and on to Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble, you know, they had a sale. You girl went cry cry with it. Um, so I picked up, I'm going to go quickly for these books because you've already seen them. Um, and I'm going to give synopsis, but I picked up The Valiant. By, Le by Leslie Livingston. Coin heist. But a group that has to, that hacks into the uh, mint to steal some coins, I think it is. Uh, the Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Um, I have read about 12 pages of this. And I do like, I have, I have been keeping notes and stuff of what's going on. Um, but I did put it down because I wanted to read something else. But there's that book. Uh, Murder with a Cherry on Top. And again, if you want to know what any of these Barnes & Noble books are about, check out my Barnes & Noble huge sale video, and I do talk about what they're about. What you can find out there? A uh, Train to Impossible Places by P.G. Bell. I picked this up for the young adult read oh no, the middle grade read final I was doing with my friend Lori. We never actually... Participated in it, or she did, but I didn't, so hopefully maybe I'll be able to do that eventually sometime. That one, Before I Let Go. The Disaster. What is it called, The Disaster? Yeah, The Disaster. About space. Wondersmith, The Calling of Morgan Crow. I have not finished the first one, but I picked up the second one just because it was on sale on the cover of Red Beautiful. Um, and I think that is it for the actual Barnes & Noble sale part of it. Now, on to the not part of the Barnes & Noble sale. Um, I picked up Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. I read this book. I gave this book, I believe, 5 out of 5 stars. Loved this book. It was really, really good. It had a little bit of a romance in it, but it wasn't an insta-love. Um, great action. Loved it. It was not slow at all. Really fast-paced book. I believe this is a standalone. Very short, but very, very good. Definitely, definitely, definitely pick this book up. It was so good. Pick up that. Then I picked up Strange Practice by Vivian Shaw. And this is about Greta Helsing. She's a doctor to the undead. When I was picking up another book, um, a person that works at Barnes & Noble said, Oh, if you like... Victoria Schwab pick up this book and she said like, she's a doctor to the undead and she writes really good stuff and her, her second book just came out so I picked this one up I have not read it yet I might save this for October because it looks like it might be a nice October read um or I might read it for the owls I haven't decided yet pick up that I got V.E. Schwab's The Near Witch that just came out um I got the exclusive Barnes and Noble edition just because I think it's a beautiful 
the cover and just the map. And I believe this is about a witch. Obviously, it's called me a witch, but it has a bookmark at the edge of it, which is so beautiful. I loved it. So I have that. I got Blood Leaf by Crystal Smith. The strongest magic requires the greatest sacrifice. And poor Lori is still waiting for this book from Shelf Love. It actually matches my, my, my nails. Lori is still waiting for this book from Shelf Love because I had like a shipping problem, but she's still waiting for this because I've been wanting to read this with her, but she's still waiting. Um, and this is about magic and a princess and blood magic and all other stuff. I have books all over me. I picked up J.R. Ward, Dark Lover, um, just because I had read this a long time ago. I, I don't think I finished it. I mean, I did like what I read. It's about vampires and stuff, and there's like a whole world about it. And she has like 17 books in the series, I want to say. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up. I do wish they kind of improved on the cover because it's kind of a little embarrassing to carry that around with you, but I digress. Um, and then I got Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger because Lori again was reading this and said it was really, really good. So I picked it up and I read about 50 pages of it and I did like it. Um, it's about a girl who finds out she's an elf and this as far as I know because as far as anything has happened, chapters are kind of long, um, but I did like what I read so far. So I was definitely going to maybe might continue on with that series. Alright, and the last two books I got at Barnes & Noble was To Best the Boys by Mary Weber. Barnes & Noble, the only edition they had left was this Damage Damage Bent one, which makes me mad, but it is what it is. I guess I can put tape or something, but Be To Best the Boys, love the cover, it's like a maze with a girl on it, and basically this one is about, um, uh, what is it? It's a thrilling new fantasy, uh, basically... Every year for the past 54 years, the residents of Pinsbury Port have received a mysterious letter inviting all eligible boys to compete for this scholarship to go to the Sistine College, but no girls are allowed to go. Her and her cousin, I forget her name, um, they, en they end up entering into this thing. She wins, and how is that going to work? And her nothing but really good things, and it's short too, so picked up that. And the last book I picked up from Barnes & Noble, which is my recent book that I picked up, which is my last book in this whole, like, not haul, but last book I picked up for this month, was Once in Future by Amy Rose Capetta and Corey McCarthy. And it says, this time Excalibur chooses her. This cover is beautiful. It, this is a King Arthur retelling, but King Arthur is a girl. Um... And I think it's a, she's a teenager, but it looks amazing. I cannot wait to read this. I love the pink. Um, I wanted to read this uh, right away, but I'm saving this for the owls. But ugh, look at the cover. It's so beautiful. I got this as soon as it came out. I ran right to Barnes Noble to buy it because it's so beautiful. Now, on to Amazon, and then we are done. Amazon, I picked up The Wonderful Wizard of Oz and Marvelous Land of Oz by... L. Frank Bam, ba Bam. Uh, and this is illustrated by Chris Sison. Um, he is the one that did the Alice in Wonderland one that I showed you. He does a lot. He does Anne Green Gables, Peter Pan, um, a lot of different ones that I, I want to get. The Princess and the Pea, I think, was one of them we did. But this one is very badly damaged. I'm returning this one. If you can tell, it is very... They said like new, and we paid like $10 for this, and it is not like new. It is cracked, like, unbelievably cracked in my spine. You can see that. Like, that's not a new book to me, or like new condition at all. And, like, you can't see it on camera, but it's all bent right there. So, this is being sent back. It said, it said that Amazon inspected it. It's being sent back, and... I am going to get the regular copy for like 13 bucks because it's ridiculous. But, so I got that. Uh, then I got Daisy Jones and the Six uh, by Taylor Jenkins Reid. As soon as I got this book, I read this book in one whole day. Amazing book. It's about Daisy Jones and the Six, about their band, and how they split up and why they split up. And it's written in kind of like interview style. But don't be deterred by that because it reads so quickly and so fast. And 
I did audiobook. I think that's the best way to do it. It was so good. Loved it. I give it five out of five stars. I think I gave it four out of five stars because it was a little bit too short for me, but awesome. I loved it. Really, really good. I love Taylor Jenkins these books anyways. Um, then I got The Borrow by Mark Smiley. Um, this is supposed to be a fantasy about them going into a tomb and trying to find a map and the map just disappears and stuff. But also it has like, um, erotica, not erotica, but like sexy times in it too. Um, Holly Hart's books read, read this and there's a lot of sexy times in this. I have not read it. I tried to read a little bit of it, but I did not. But I got this off Amazon. Um, then I picked up Fury Born, the Emperor Trilogy, book one. This was on Amazon. I got it used because obviously it's a library copy. It's not that bad. I think I paid like $9 for it. Um, and I know the next book's coming out, so I do want to read it. But it's not a bad copy. It is a library copy, though. But I got that. And I can't remember if I hauled these two or not, so I'll show you. I got Blood of Wonderland and War of Cards by Colleen, I'm sorry, by Colleen Oaks. Measures my hair. Um, and these are books two and three of the Queen of Hearts trilogy, I guess. And the last two books in this whole book haul, because I have books falling all over me, is The Gauntlet by Ian Colfer. Um, and this is about Iron Man. And this is about how invincible is Tony Stark when oh, Tony Stark when his when he is stripped of everything, including his Iron Man suit. Um, this is a very short book. I'm trying to collect all like Marvel, DC, all the books I can find. I'm trying to collect. I know there's a Captain America, uh, Captain Marvel book out. I'm trying to collect that one. Uh, I know there's a Batman one. I'm trying to collect that one. Uh, there's a Joker one. I'm trying to collect them all because one of the one of these months. Um, probably in June, I want to read all superheroes and books in June. Um, because I know May, I'm doing, uh, a, uh, Mortal Instruments May with Lori. So, definitely I think it's going to be June is when I'm going to do it. But I want to read all superhero books in June. So I'm trying to collect them all. So that's that one. And the last one is We Set the Dark on Fire by Taylor K. M-E-J-I-A. Sorry, this cover just gives me goosebumps because it has one of those like texture covers. Like, oh. Um, and this is about a school that is young women are trained for two roles. Um, to be husband, to, 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 how is it? To be, to be a wife and provide for her husband. And this guy has two wives and... Now they're going to fight back. It says, let's, let, 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 let rebellion burn. So, sounds pretty good. Lori got the same book so we can read it together. Whew. That is my March Mayhem book haul. Because that was a lot of books. <laughs> Your girl went cray cray. Um, next month will not be as much, I promise. Whew, that was a lot, a lot of books. You can see I'm covered in books right now. But, um, like I always say, keep calm, read on, shop on, and be kind and sweet to each other. Um, and I'll talk to you guys later. And please enter my contest. I'm doing a really good, good contest. Um, but please subscribe to that or, and, and enter. Um, and I will be back with another video. Bye, guys.